Escanites, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 3. Now, in between episodes, I went and I grinded up a bunch of Ar Antarctic winds from the uh, floating continent. You just can steal them from uh, the any enemy, really, on the water. So, uh, because of that, Ark ended up hitting 99 Thief. We've got 88 Lunith on Scholar, so... We're sitting pretty right now. Now, I'm trying to remember. I think this is where I believe. I think I know where to go. I believe this is where we go to Saronia, which is to the northwest. And... Goodbye. No! Ugh, everyone all right? What happened? Obviously a cannon shell disabled our engine, but I do not know why they would fire at us. The Enterprise is in pieces. What are we going to do now? The wind. It carries the sound and scent of war. Best be on our guards. How do you know what the sound and scent is? Why must we fight amongst ourselves? Why must we fight amongst friends? Hi. None shall pass. Leave the premises at once or suffer the consequences. You guys just shot our ship down. So, this town... It's split into four sections. Um... I believe, yep. Straightly, uh, tightly shut. The king divided Saronia's army into two, making them fight each other. And you're just going along with it? Saronia once had the greatest military in the world, with airships and dragoons giving them complete air superiority. Okay. Now normally people have a dragoon for this. Tightly shut. Legend say, says that there was a great knight in Saronia who was so powerful, he was feared by everyone in the world. I, I've seen it. Igameth, the king's aide. His shadow was shaped like a giant bird. It looked, it looked like that fiend, Garuda. Oh, what do you know? Dragoon gear. Tightly shut. Hmm. The king doesn't listen to anyone. The last person who tried to advise him was run through on the spot. The island towards the southeast is called Duster, home of bards and geomancers.
Okay. The tower in the middle of this district is called the Dragon Spire. The Dragoon's greatest treasure is fabled to be kept at the top. Welcome to Mogdak, Koopo. Our service lets you read letters. Taka, must be getting old. Hey, I got this order for Mithril gear recently, so I went into the mines to get some ore. Oh, or. I must be getting old. I wasn't able to carry back half the Mithra I used to. Everyone in the castle has gone back to their daily routine after the Jin was banished. It's as if it never happened. I would like to thank you again for helping us. Have a safe journey. I took Mrs. Sid to a village called Geisel on our first date. There isn't much to do there, but they sure can grow some great taste in veggies, and don't you tell me women aren't into that. Is that supposed to be, like, a diet joke? Don't remember... <gasps> Chocobo! Oh. I just wanted to talk it to it. I didn't want to take the Chocobo. Okay. Now that our airship shot down, we need to figure out what to do in this town, because we can't leave! You're going to climb the Dragon Spire? Are you mad? That place is crawling with monsters. Sweet. Sounds perfect. Okay. Attack, attack. Just have everyone attack. You can sing. Do 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 do. I need some better weapons now. Apparently you can't run from these enemies. Again, too. Let me out, let me out. Please tell me there's a revive somewhere in here. Are you telling me there's no room? Okay, I'll 
Look in the other parts of towns, then. There's an inn. Is this... No, that's magic. Are you a... No, you're not. Magic. Weapons. Weapons. Grrrr. <laughs> Do you have a revive in here? Ooh, I want to buy some of these. Alright. Let's go check southwest then? Just dragging Luna's dead body everywhere. It's okay, Luna. We'll get you the water. Hmm. I don't want to use a Phoenix down. There's an armor shop. Hey, look, a frog. Ooh. Are you a revive? You are! Oh. Well, stupid back attacks. Alright, sirs and miss, have you seen a well-clad boy around the age of 10 in this vicinity? Alice is only 10? The king doesn't listen to anyone. The last person who tried to advise him was run through on the spot. Him. Hi. I'm a researcher of a chocobos. I've discovered the means to call fat chocobo. Here, let me demonstrate. Ahem. Choke, choke, choke! Hi. You got anything? No. Look at all these guys show greens. It's all greens? How's it pronounced? More useful in the NES version because in the NES version, you have a limited inventory. Hmm, alright, where's this kid? Let's take a shot. I don't know where the pub is. That's Geisel House. I think it might be in there. I know. Just wanted to see if there was any items.
Hey, get a load of this. This boy thinks he's the prince heir. Ha ha ha. I hope you know what the punishment for is for impersonating a member of the royal house. Hey, hey, uh, stop that. What? You want us to stop? Then make us. Okay. Are you just gold knights? Yeah. Oof! God, Bart is so weak. Good job, Mark! I'm thinking about changing Ark into a different job since he's 99 Thief. Please, no more! We yield! Uncle! Uncle! I am Alice, son of King Gorn, and rightful heir to the throne of Saronia. Thank you for your help, brave ones. Prince Alice, what's happening to this country? My father, the king, he suddenly ordered our soldiers to fight amongst themselves. I tried to stop him, but not only did he refuse to listen to me, but he threw me out of the castle. Adventurers, I must ask for your help. I need to get back into the castle and convince my father to cease this nonsense. We're with you, Prince Alice. We'll do our best. I can ask for nothing more than that. Thank you. Yay. Now we take Prince Alice to talk to all these old men. Nope. Um, not that one. That one on the water. Oh, who are you? Do, 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 do. Do, do. Hello. Prince Alice, here, please, take this with you. Dragon Mail. Dragoon armor. Wonder if the boomerangs are gonna help. Normally you fight this upcoming boss with a dragoon. Prince Ellis, you're safe. I have escaped the castle so I could give this to you. Wind spear. Okay. And most old men in this town will give Alice a piece of armor or a weapon or something. I don't know if they're in other corners of the world or not. Not world, but city. We're going to be climbing that tower and hopefully not getting back attacked. Oh look, Alice has a boomerang. Northwestern Seronia. Hmm. Door is tightly shut. There's in. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Okay. Chew, go away. The library is closed. We can't have people learning! What is that weird knocking noise? It sounds like Honestly, someone hitting their mic. Does it sound like that to anyone else? Bing, bing. Oh!
arc just obliterated that enemy. And luckily, I bought, got 70 of those Antarctic winds, so... Lunath is sitting pretty good on damage for magic. Let's try this tower again, shall we? Dragon's Fire. I will fight too! Arrow! That one's dead. And that one's dead. I swear in other versions you used to be able to select cover. Um, how many floors of this are there? There we go. Dragon Helm. Thunder Sphere. I'm assuming that's a trap chest. Dragon Helmet. Phoenix. No, it's not trap. Do 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 do. Kill Ark! Kill! Okay. Much better time in this tower than last time. Dragon Mill. Dragon Helmet. Thunder Spear. Phoenix down. Dragon Helm. Dragon Mail. Gee, I wonder what they want you to be. <laughs> Almost 6k damage, Ark. Wow, even Luna hitting for a thousand. Elgaru. <laughs> pink, pink. Hey, some job levels. But well, I'm very happy that I stole those Antarctic wins for. Uh, Lunith. I wonder if there's any party-wide, like, heal items. Bonk, bonk. Oh yeah, I should do the party conversations with Ella. After I get out of this tower. Well, actually, there might be one in this tower. My father has changed. It is as if some evil spirit has taken a hold of him. There must be a reason for all this. I'm sure he'll explain it to you when we meet him. I would like to talk to him, but he told me never to return to the castle. What's up with Ark? Why is he so eager to help this prince? It's probably because someone who's even shorter than him is doing his best to help his country. He does a noble thing. Do not even think of mocking him, Lunath. Nope. Okay. So there is one change between the 3D version and the D, uh... 
the pixel version, and it's Dark Knights can equip um, swords and the such. Um. No, I'll keep them as thief for now. I was thinking about making Ark a dragoon. Okay. Which part of town do I go to with Ellen? I can't remember. Do I just go right into the castle? I think. Hi, I need to heal. Ah, I slept like a log. HP and MP restored. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it. Nope. This slot we want. Alright. Let's see if we can get into the castle. Prince Alice! Stand aside and let me through. I, I can't, sire. You've been branded in exile by the king. What? The king wants to let him through? My apologies, sire. You may go through now. Pl please, rest here for the night. Your audience with the king is scheduled for tomorrow. Good night. I wonder if this boss is going to have any good steel. Are you asleep? No, not yet. I can't help but wonder, what has happened to my father? Why would he expel his own son? Do you think he doesn't love me anymore? Sire. No parent would ever lose their love for their children. That is not true. <laughs> Your father must have had a good reason for doing this. Don't worry, I'm sure the king will explain everything come tomorrow. I, I guess you're right. Alice, it is time for you to die. Father, what are you doing? Yes, what are you doing? Why did you stop? Kill him now! Ugh! Father! Father! There, I am free of your bonds. How? How did you break my spell? I would rather die than hurt my son. Your plans are foiled. Oh, bother. Well, have it your way. I'll just skip to the part where I kill you all. Prince Alice, stand back. We'll take care of this. Steal. Study. Thing. You got anything? Uh, weakness wind. Ooh. Ow. Um, attack. Steal. Uh, high potion on you. I'm actually gonna use you to heal too. 
and you. Ow. Steal. Also, I have a potion on yourself. In fact, you sing. What do you have? Just all that for a high potion? this play out. Goodbye. Okay. Now we know. I honestly thought, uh, the boomerangs would do more damage to him. Let's go ahead and skip through those. Good to know! We'll go ahead and start using some of those items we got. We know not to use lightning on it, though. If I die again, I'll just turn, um, my thief into a dragoon. Stab yourself! You know, instead of stabbing yourself, you could have just dropped the knife. I feel like that would be easier than... and less painful than stabbing yourself. Actually, I'm gonna have you defend. You're gonna attack... you... Uh, do we have any wind? Increases attack speed, huh? Absorbs life? Inflicts sleep? Interesting. Intense fire? Yeah, that's good. Defend! Pink, pink! I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Antarctic wind. Sing! Okay. 
There we go. Much better! <laughs> God, Scholar is a lot better than I thought it would have been. Father! Alice, my son. Gigameth had put a spell on me. I was afraid you would never forgive me for what I had done to you. But you came back. That is what gave me enough strength to break Gigameth's bonds. Alice, the kingdom is yours now. Stop the war and bring peace back to its people. I'm counting on you, son. Father, don't go! I love you, Alice. You have my thanks. If it were not for you, I would have hated my father forever. No, sire. You had never stopped loving your father. Thank you, Ark. I will take my father's place on the throne and undo what he was made to do against his will. That was his wish. You have my eternal thanks. You have saved Saronia and my father from Gigameth. All hail King Alice! You'll make a good king, I'm sure of it. Medusa arrow, Helm of Fire, there we go, Rusty Mail, Main Goat, Ice Rod, Dragon Hammer. Helm of Ice, Boomerang, Celine Bow, Golem Staff, Scholar Hat, and Tome of Light. Lunith, you get some new books! Let's give you Tome of Ice. Thirty-seven. I want to see. Okay, so that does give a little more. Okay, good to know. Anything else? You. Yes, there is. Gaia Vest. Earthen Bell. Dragon Helm. Viking Mill. Rusty Mill. Viking Helm. Can you equip the Gaia gear? No. Go th through the wall. There we go. <laughs> Anything else in here? I must not let my father down. Not only must I bring peace to Sarodia, but the whole world as well. There is much work to do and there will be time to mourn later. Please, feel free to take anything in Sarodia that may help you on your journey. That is the least we can do. Beneath the sea, under the waves that mourn, is the temple sundered by the god's scorn, south of Sarodia, between the two horns. I like how he's like, take whatever you want. Don't worry, I already did. Um. Oh. 
We are the Seronian engineers, the greatest minds in all the world. We've been expecting you. We've unearthed and restored a flying ship from the ancient ruins. It's called the Nautilus, and it's yours to take. Let's go, guys! Huh? What? Wait, hey, wait for me! I love this ship. We've moored the ship outside the castle. Remember, it's called the Nautilus. It's a fa fine ship. Its engine should be powerful enough to take you through the wind that protects the dull continent. You are now the proud owner of the Nautilus. Woo! I can't wait to see the kind of damage that bomb core does in Luna's hand. Because they're supposedly the higher tier, right? Before he died, the great Magus Noah gave fragments of his own power to his three apprentices, Zande, Doga, and Une. The only ones who are capable of creating an earthquake of that magnitude are the three wizards of the Dog Continent. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you past the wind that guards Dolg through the arrow-shaped promontory. Warriors of the Light, you must now head to the Dolg Continent. The Dolg Continent? That name sounds familiar. Okay. Oh, we stole everything they had. This is why I love this ship. Look how fast it is! What is this town? Replito. Let's see if it works this time. Hiya! Oh no, Chocobo again. What am I doing wrong? Eh? You're casting the Chocobo spell. The great Magus Noah once lived on the Dog Continent, but he passed away long ago. Summoning is the most powerful type of magic, if you know when and where to use it. There once was a great magus called Noah. He could not only use both white and black magic, but he could also use summoning magic. Sounds magical. Alright, let's switch over... Wish there was a button to, uh, quit switch characters. Nothing. What about Ingus? Nope. Okay. The legendary smith. I don't know if I've told you, but there's supposed to be this legendary smith wandering the world. Rumor has it that she fixes things so new, or they look new. Okay, that might have been the, uh, message I needed for Ingus. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's the start of it, though. Sarah's necklace breaks, and she... We have to go get it fixed for her at the Legendary Smith. Isn't there spells here? Yes, there is. There they are. Hi. Almost. Don't worry. These are the one weapons I will sell. 
There, now I have one of each summoning spell. Can Scholar use it? Hang on a second, let me check. No, Scholar can't use any summon spells. Okay. We're not going to Dog Continent just yet. We should show this ship to Sid. Be like, oh my god. Looking for a town. The continent we need to go to is the one south of us, but I wonder if I'm strong enough to kill some summons. Oh, not where I wanted to go. You know what? I need Rafia's magic. That might be it there. It's one of those two. So let's go check. Okay. I appreciate how fast this airship is. Yay, Duster! This is the one I was looking for. The Dog Continent is to the south of here, but its entrance is protected by a great wind that blows away anything that comes near. Geomancy is a very difficult art to master, but once you do, its effects can be devastating. I heard that Saronia has the fastest airship known to man. In ancient times, man's greatest wonder was to harness light, but what a blunder. Its newfound induction led man to destruction, and mortals wound up six feet under. And yet with the world in di distress, or held from the world of darkness. The light they did track down, and thus brought the smack down, <laughs> thus banishing man's foolishness. Leviathan, the great shade of the lake, bides his time for a day he would break. The chains o'er his darkness and then awake. Okay. Nothing here. But that one we already talked to. What's here? If this is the bard in Geomancer Town, there might be different. Like this. There we go. Ingus finally has some proper gear. <laughs> He's been wearing that gear for how long now? Oh. Oh, there are like four. Oh, oh wow. Need some money. Geomancers harness the power of nature itself and use terrain to create magic like effects in various attacks. 
Out in Supreme, the Knight Amongst Knights. Fearing his own power, he sealed his blight. Forever in slumber, waiting for the light. This is the sound when you get idle! Lord Bahamut, the greatest drake of all, awaits a champion before to fall. His power is yours alone to call. Earthen drums. What are... I'm assuming that's like Quake. Choke, 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 Hey! I am so glad they made that the canon song. I swear there was another earthen drum somewhere. There it is. So we need to get enough money to get Ingus all the hearts. That way he can swap between his songs by just changing his weapon around. It's what, 40 or 30,000? Now this ship is the only one that can get onto this continent here. If you'd have tried bringing the Enterprise, you would have just been blown back. But, you can also get into battles here. In the air. I didn't, though, apparently. Okay. Doga's Manor. Who dares trespass inside the great wizard Doga's Manor? Seize them! Kupo! Kupapo! Hmm? I know you, don't I? Ah, the Warriors of the Light! Good of you to come, I have something to tell you. The one who is summoning the darkness into this world is none other than Zande. Zande, Une, and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. When Noah died, he bestowed upon us gifts, the power of magic to me, the world of dream to Une, and to Zande, Noah granted him mortality. Imagine how... Uh, like, of course, Zande was not pleased. Of course he isn't! All of y'all would be pissed off if you went from immortal to mortal. He covered this world in darkness and then stopped the flow of time. Zande's plan was to stay his eventual demise by halting time itself. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zande seems intent on stopping time again. Come, you must help me stop, Zande. Doga has joined the party. Now, I believe Doga has a chance to cast Flare on the enemy. Come, you must escort me to the Cave of the Circle. In my room is a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle on the wall is the switch that opens the hidden door. Welcome to the Magnet. Oh, you're the... <laughs> you're the Magnet Moogle. When Master, Master Zande left, he said he was angry because the great Magus Noah only gave him mortality, Kupo. Master Noga said that the floating continent was created by the destructive waves of darkness that Master Zande has called forth, Kupo. Look at all these spells I can't afford. I don't need them, I'm not using a white mage or a black mage. Lady Une is asleep in the shrine south of Sarodia, protecting the world of dream, Kupo. You can call Fat Chocobo in the hall to the right. Use Geishal dream Dreams on the unlit candle. I don't need it. Just... Okay. 
Mr. Doga, are you going to the Cave of the Circle? That place is dangerous, Koopo. Don't go, Koopo! The Cave of the Circle is connected to the World of Darkness, so the cave is filled with monsters from that world, Koopo. The magic water in the, that pot over there is will restore your magic power and health, Koopo. Use the magic book on the table to revive any... Okay. Let's do this. Magic, Scholar, Mini, everyone. And this should keep us Mini. I think... Cave of the Circle. Hmm. Defend. Steal, I guess. You. Antarctic wind. Oh, that's not a... AoE? Uh, sing. Looks like my type of fight! Flare! Um... High potion? Wow! I'm sorry, that was a tier 1 spell from Scholar? Nothing to steal. Ruffy gained a level. Art gained a level. Ingus gained a job level. I hate these mini dungeons. Dread Knight. Let's try fire on that one. Thank you, Dogo. I seriously was not expecting Scholar to do this kind of damage. Thank you, Dolga. Tranquilizer? Is that... I think I know what that does. I think it puts everyone on the enemy's team. It's a sleep item. <coughs> you must hurry. My time has almost come. I'll cast a spell on your ship so that it may travel underwater. The Hapiro. Oh. The Nautilus can now travel underwater. Head south from Seronia. The Temple of Time lies between the pillars of Cape Twinhorn. In the middle, in the temples where you will find Noah's loot. What does Noah's loot do? 
It is a magic loot whose timber will reach even into the world of dreams. You must use it to call Une back from the world of dream. I will now use the circle to enter the rift between dimensions and find the key to Eureka. Your task is to wake up Une and obtain the ancient ship known as the Invincible. You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. Give my regards to Une. Farewell, warriors of the light. We will meet again. Cool. I can't believe how strong Scholar is. I went with Scholar just because it was like, well, it's not really a mage. But, uh, <laughs> boy, was I wrong. I want this. I'm surprised there wasn't a boss fight. Uh, let's go ahead and see if Ingus gets that letter from Sarah. Did? When you were babies. You four sure were a handful when you were toddlers. You all turned out okay in the end. Or at the very least, you're all toilet trained. Hey, how do you know? Wait, what did he say? You better be saving up your gill, Koopo. You might want to buy a gift for the princess, you know. Ark, what about you? Do you want to talk? Nope. Nope. Okay. That's all of them. Alright, but with that, Eskenites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskenites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.